Animations in Svelte are first class, so you don't have to reach for an animation library unless you want to. But if you want to use an animation library, if you have a more complex use case, such as if you want timelines, you can try GSAP, which is pretty much the industry standard. Or if you have a simple use case and just want a lightweight JavaScript library, you can use Motion 1. To use transitions, we can import blur, fly, slide, scale, draw, and cross rate from the Svelte transition package. And to use a transition, it's just simple as saying transition fade. And we can also specify parameters such as delay, duration, and easing for the fade animation we imported. To learn more about each transition and their properties, you can consult the documentation. But let's look at an example first. So inside the REPL, we're going to create a script tag and we're going to import fade from Svelte transition. We're going to declare show fades false. Then we're going to create a function toggle fade and all it's going to do is flip the show fade value. And that's it. So we can create a button where we can wax poetic and we can say on click to toggle fade. And let's create an if block. So if show fade, we can end it. Let's create a block quote now we can wax poetic. Memories fade, but friends are forever. And that's it. Forever. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. So we can just say transition fade. That should work. And yes, it does. Great job. So you can also specify properties if you want. We can say delay. 250 milliseconds and we can also say duration 300 milliseconds and that should work and it does awesome so we can also specify more animations such as the enter and exit animation that can be different if you want but i also want to show you a couple of examples so this can be just a brief overview so we can look at the typewriter effect using swell custom animations so we can go to the tutorial, we can say show me, so it solves it for us. And this is the code, we don't have to go over it, I just want to show you that it's possible. And then we can go to the output, and if you press visible, we can get a typewriter effect. And you can also have motion using twinned animations, if we look here, we can have twinned and spring animations. So for example, this is the tutorial, let's solve it. So if you go to the input, you can see how it's set up. So we're going to have a nice progression going from these values and percentages. If we go to the output, we can say 25%, 50, 75, and 100. So self makes animations really simple. I also want to show you the anime directive using the flip technique to transition elements. So we can also go to the bottom, show me, so we can solve it. And this is the implementation of the flip animation technique. And we're going to see in a second what that means. So this is a simple to-do list. But if we go to the output, we can say record swell tutorial. And so we can see such an animation and then we can see flip in action. So if your market is completed, we can see how the list item gets added to the done section. And we can also uncheck them if we want. So that's Svelte animations.